Hello friends, I am back with my channel Q Analysis and today we are going to have a new video on continuous integration. Please feel free to subscribe my channel for more videos on quality analysis and testing. So here we go. What is continuous integration? How to do it? and why to follow continuous integration practices. It's one of the most important question that many people, many testers, developers, they keep on asking on daily basis. So let's figure out answer to these questions in today's presentation. What is continuous integration? Continuous integration is divided into three parts which are taken care by developers, DevOps guys, and testers. Developers, they build. DevOps, they deploy. And quality analysis folks, they test. All of this keeps on happening in a continuous fashion. Developers, they develop, they commit the code. Code is then taken to the source control where a DevOps system is there which deploys the code and makes a build ready for testing. Testers, they test it, report the bugs to developer and whole of this thing keeps on happening in a continuous iterative way which is known as continuous integration. Let's see CI in a very simple manner or to figure out how for a normal person CI looks. So here we have a developer who is developing, who is fixing bugs and writing codes and then he is making build, he is committing and he is providing it to a build system which is taken care by DevOps guy. DevOps guys they provide a build which is ready to test to the testers or the quality analysis, quality analysis team. Quality analysis team they test it and break it or find issues report it back to the development team which in turn follow the same iterative model and everything is taken care in the same way. Developers to DevOps, DevOps to testers and it is a continuous approach, continuous model which keeps on running till the time we have a stable product. Now let's see how is CI or continuous integration performed. So here we have a step by step for a continuous integration performing. Developers they check in their code, they write in a code or fix issue and they check in Jenkins system it checks out uh, the changes, what if it has been checked in by the developers, Jenkins then call the asset build script which is then maintained by, uh, this all systems are Jenkins related stuff is maintained by DevOps guys, Jenkins calls project automation script and it has the automation script which runs some unit test cases just to make sure that all the test cases are passing. Jenkins then calls the prior to the build, which deploys the build to the local reference. Uh, and from that local reference automation script, it takes, uh, it tests the build just to make sure that all the test cases are green and they are passed. If the test cases are failing, then the build fails. But if the test cases are passing, then the build is ready to test and it is uh, forwarded to the QA. QA folks, they test it and figure out any issues or report the issues to developer team. Developer guys, they fix the issue, they make the changes and they follow this process again. Development team, they go ahead and uh, fix the issue, write a new code and whole of this process in which development team, DevOps team and testing team they all are equally involved, they are participating on equal basis. Whole of this thing, it keeps on happening in a continuous manner. So here we have continuous integration step by step. How developers and the DevOps guys and testers all of them they participate and every time we have a build which is being tested at so many fronts that's the reason quality is a very important factor and we ensure that quality high quality product is being received as part of continuous integration now why to practice continuous integration 
we have few points which I'd like to mention to you. Continuous integration is a very user-friendly approach and it allows for changes to be done even in the later phase. Unlike a typical traditional model, you can you can incorporate changes any point of time. It allows the rapid rapid integration of it uh, rapid integration in an iterative manner, hence provides a greater flexibility. Testing is performed concurrently with programming, as we have seen in the last slide. It improves the overall quality with the feedbacks which is received from Jenkins quality analysis work and the users. It ensures the participation of testers and customers throughout the development phase. And that is very important. Everybody, may it be tester, may it be customers, they can provide their feedback at any point of time in any of the iteration and it is so continuous that we don't have to wait for the last product like a typical traditional model. Here, as and when we have a product which is ready, build is ready, it is tested and may it be customer or may it be quality folks, they can provide their inputs. Same is incorporated by developers, build is being made ready by the DevOps guys and we can go ahead and keep on doing it till we receive a best quality product. So this is all about continuous integration. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.